brief run through of uh, my fuser setup. Um, we're not quite ready for fusion yet. We're waiting for our uh, deuterium, and then we got to construct, uh, do some final construction on our ion source. But right now, I'll just run you through some of the basic subsystems of uh, what's on the reactor here. So um, first and foremost, we have our vacuum system over here. Um, I have a Welch uh, 1400 uh, vacuum pump into a, uh, I believe this is a Varian uh, diffusion pump. This is actually uh, water cooled, so we have a, a tube running off of it here uh, that will actually go out to the water hose when we're running it, and it keeps it nice and cool on the on the main throat of it, so uh, we can get down to the lower pressures. Um, on that, on the bottom of the heater here. We have a uh, temperature gauge so I know where we're at, um, so I don't overheat the oil and I know when I'm in the right temperature range. Um, on the diffusion pump we have a little plate, um, just a blank plate that we made and uh, it's clamped down. From that we go into uh, a T, uh, one end of which we go into a convectron gauge uh, made by Granville Phillips I believe, and then uh, the other end of that T. The Granville Phillips gauge just kind of tells me what we're like over in the, the pre-chamber section just to get an idea over here before we go into the chamber because we have a throttle valve going into the chamber. But from the, from the diffusion pump, um, the other end of the T goes into this uh, PVC tubing we have here. From the PVC tubing um, into a set of uh, N25 bellows into uh, this throttle valve here which is really nice for controlling the uh, pressure on the vacuum side and on the chamber side. Um, on the chamber, we just got um, a series of uh, uh, NW parts, a um, bunch of conical reducers. Um, my uh, my thermocouple gauge is uh, on here too to get a, uh, a reading of what the chamber is. Um, the reason why I have the thermocouple gauge over here versus the uh, convectron gauge is that um, we actually think the convectron gauge is kind of blown so I'm kind of weary of using it but uh, thermocouple gauge is over here um, right now we're reading around uh, 100 microns and um, after about 10 or 15 minutes or so it will actually get down into um, below 50 micron range uh, usually around 40 which is close to the, to the limit of what my pump will do the, uh, manual pump and then we kick in the oil diffusion pump and we can get down pretty low. Um, the main reactor component is the uh, five-way conflat cross here. Um, on that we have a, uh, it's actually a high amperage feed through which I am uh, going to modify hopefully in the next, next week here to, uh, uh, to be uh, ready for the high voltage uh, which we get down here from uh, this wonderful uh, hypertronics power supply that I'm borrowing from Carl Lewis right now. Uh, puts out about 50 kilovolts peak. Uh, what we've been doing testing with is a 6 kilovolt uh, neon sign transformer and that's done us really well until now, but uh, now we're shooting confusion, which we should be doing uh, in not too long. We're going to use this baby and hopefully we'll be able to get up to enough voltage. Um, if you're wondering, we have this TV screen here. Um, for when I'm not using the video camera to videotape myself, uh, we take it over to the other side and to this uh, viewport over here. Um, there isn't any, uh, it's not running right now, but the viewport usually we put the camera up to it and uh, when we're running we can watch it on the uh, TV screen so we don't have to uh, come over here and get a nice dose of x-rays. But uh, that's pretty much it. If you uh, have any questions, feel free to send me an email or comment on this video. But uh, until next time, see ya.